A lot of people that are on this spiritual path that you are on, I assume if you're watching this, have a kind of loneliness that they suffer from not being understood by those around them. And that's something I want to address today and maybe give you a way to think about that. When you get interested in these spiritual subjects, you, you start seeing the universe as a mirror. Your life, your manifestation is a mirror of what's good about you and what might need some work. And you might find that through reading, through meditating, through dealing with plant medicine, that you find that a lot of people that you know aren't really understanding what you're telling them. They might not understand it. They might misinterpret it. They might create their own version of it that has nothing to do with the way that you look at things. And so there's this loneliness. It's like you're ascending. And the first thing that you want to do is bring everybody along with you. And that's a natural thing to want to do. But it's also a big pitfall in the process. And I want to help you not fall down that pit. <laughs> um, and that is number one. Look at your need for people to understand you. And ponder whether that need is authentic. A lot of times that need is based on, well, I love these people. These are the closest people in my life. And I know what you mean. I've been there a lot. But sometimes you have to do your own thing. You might know a friend who plays the piano and you don't and that's just fine you can enjoy them playing the piano or ask them please not to play the piano in your presence um, depending on their skill level and whatever but If they would need to explain everything to you in detail about playing the piano, you probably wouldn't want to hear it. And it you wouldn't even have the background information to even understand what they're talking about. So for them to need you to understand what it's like to play the piano, what it's like to learn a new skill, what it's like to test yourself with a, a more difficult piece. That might not be something that needs to be part of your friendship. So realize that that might be the same with your spiritual work, although it seems very different. Because it seems it's all about what life is all about. So how do you not talk about that to somebody you care about? But it might just be like the piano analogy. It's something that friends can have different interests that they don't need to share. But they can continue to share the friendship. So, you know, when you have these huge revelations, when you have huge mystical experiences that blow your mind and change your life forever, it seems that almost like you're leaving people behind or 
not necessarily behind, but somewhere else, you're going away. But think of it this way, you're really not going away, you're just expanding. You're just becoming more of you, just like somebody who learns how to play the piano is becoming more of themselves. And all of those things can't be shared. And sometimes when you try to share them, it's just annoying. And that might be getting in the way of your friendship more than the fact that you're ascending and they're not and you're going to a higher frequency and they're not and all that kind of stuff. Your need for them to come with you might be a much lower frequency than their honest lack of desire to do so. And that's something to take into account. So, when you are spiritually ascending, when you are clearing your issues, doing healing, all the stuff that I do with, with my clients, healing, past life regression, psychedelic integration, now, like for psychedelics, most people, when we do psychedelics the first time, we think, oh my God, everybody needs to do this. But they don't. They really don't. A lot of people would not be well served by doing any psychedelics. It would only confuse them. It might freak them out. It could trigger schizophrenia or something. So, not everybody should do psychedelics. Not everybody should meditate. Not everybody should be interested in spirituality. Remember, everybody is a spirit at their core. And their spirit knows all this stuff better than you and I ever will. So, their ego in this one lifetime might have decided to not have any interest in spirituality whatsoever. Maybe... They spent the last 50 li lives meditating in a cave in the Himalayas and they're like, I want to watch Monday Night Football and drink Bud Light. That's what I want to do this time. I want to eat unhealthy food and sit in a lazy boy <laughs> and drink my beer and watch my game. Because... All that Himalayan cave sitting has been too much. Okay, I need to balance this out. That might be something that's hard for you to deal with, but maybe that's just something you need to get over with. Because if you realize they are a spirit the whole way through, which, believe me, is one of the hardest things for me, then you will be on the right vibrational level to meet them on a spiritual level without ever having to talk about it. You don't have to reject people because they're quote-unquote not spiritual. Remember, everybody's a spirit, so that means everybody's spiritual. So, that's good enough. So maybe you have different hobbies in this lifetime. Maybe you're not meant to be sharing these so-called deepest understandings in this lifetime. And maybe that's just fine. There's a loneliness and a neediness that can come out of this, but there's also a lot of ego. And there's also a lot of lack of acceptance. And I have been very guilty of it. 
a lot. And so I just want to pass this along to you as a little food for thought to help you deal with those muggles out there who have no interest in all your revelations. Remember, they're spirits. You can love them. You can hang with them. You can even hang out and watch Monday Night Football with them or whatever other thing they're into. Housewives of uh, Weed Patch, California, whatever. And sit in the awareness that they are spirits and work on your own stuff. And those who are not interested, find other common ground. No need to reject. And no need to put yourself out there as like this this person that I have spent many, many hours and years being of just kind of lamely trying to get other people into your stuff. There's no need for it. You are spirit. Feel the spirit that is you. The more you feel that, the more you'll see it in everybody else. And nobody has to be a part of every aspect of your journey. And if it comes to the point where you need to walk away from certain people, fine. If it's really necessary, then that's what you have to do. No drama. Find your people. Instead of being frustrated with everybody around you. Somewhere back there I said number one and then I lost track of what number one was. But let's say number two now is find your people. Cultivate that. And... Let everybody from your past sort themselves out. Focus on the spirit that is you, illuminating you more and more and more, rather than trying to bring everybody along on your journey. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about with this one. Good luck with that. Feel your spirit, be it, let it shine. That's all you need to do. Nobody needs to join you and nobody even needs to know everything about it. Thanks for watching. If you want more information on my work, my website is andysway.com, A-N-D-Y-S-W-A-Y.com. And please like, subscribe, and comment if you feel moved to do so. I would greatly appreciate it. Bye-bye.